at this point, what is the biggest misconception of you? Um, getting called a cheater. <laughs> I'm not a cheater, bro, at all. Can you shed some more light on that? Uh, people don't understand, like, it's always two sides to everything or how everything get looked at. But social media-wise, people go with what they hear first. And see, me, I wasn't just, I'm just not big on just overly sent what really happened. I just like this. I like for stuff just to go away. But that's probably my problem. But um, I'm not a cheater, bro. Things went down that wasn't said and still haven't been said to lead up to me doing what I did. But I am wrong, though. And this is in reference to your relationship with Net. Mm -hmm. And what's the current status between you two at this point? Um, just nothing right now. Not even following one another on social media? Mm -hmm. Now, is there anything else you want to say in regards to that scenario there? Other than what's already been said, what's already been publicly addressed mm -hmm. at this point? Uh, no. Just... Um, probably my own tell little, little JC that, that my boy still, for sure, um, and I wish the best for her and take care of him. And not trying to start anything here or egg anything on further, just giving you a chance to speak. But why that mentality there where you don't address things or lightly speak, however way you phrased it previously in this conversation. Because mm. there are some that publicly address any and everything that comes up. Misconceptions, rumors, mm. doesn't matter, they talk about it. Mm. Um, I was always like that. Like, I just feel like I can handle things on my own. So me doing what I'm doing now and stuff be happening, I don't really be speaking up. But I feel like that's my downfall though, because people will think wrongly of me. Yeah. It's really not that, like, from being a cheater, I'm actually pretty, pretty good. Like, I'm really on my person, whoever I, I talk to. And she know that, though. But, you know, probably people get mad and just put a name on you, you know? Now, asked you here about your biggest misconception. But what's maybe the craziest rumor that you've heard about yourself? Unless what we just talked about was it. You know, people be lying and saying, like, you do stuff with certain people. You no, know, that's a lie. Those big, those big rumors that I won't be liking. Like, I like to clear them up right then and there. But it don't be going too far, so, because I clear them up. Um, probably a crash out. <laughs> I really don't crash out. I really just, I just love deep. I like, love hard. Now, is there a question you receive you dislike getting asked? Um, I don't know. I get a lot of questions. But I, I won't just say I dislike it. I just get tired of hearing the same question. Before this interview ends, is there anything else you were not asked? Fans want to know? Um, I don't know, but I know that I'm going to keep going strong. Still continue to be the person I am. Yeah. Is there anything that needs clarification from what was said in this interview to the previous questions you were asked? Um. Not for real. Uh, I just want people to stop believing that just because we are the people on the camera that we don't go through stuff off the camera. Like I think people like really believe that, or they'll take the way a person look and try to make it be their image just because they look like that. You don't know what nobody do or what they go through off camera. Any last words? No, 
not for real. Just I love y'all.